other thing that's super satisfying. Look at this bucket of nicely sharpened pencils. Is there anything better than that? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Good morning. I woke up and decided I'm gonna vlog. <laughs> We're gonna vlog. We're gonna vlog. And that's the deal with that. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> it's early. So let's get into this. Um, you are propped up right now in my spice cabinet on top of the pepper, the paprika, and the Italian seasoning. So Hopefully you don't fall and hopefully I don't jostle anything, but yeah, good morning. My apartment faces the sun, um, like in the morning, so it's super bright right now, but I'll talk to you while I make my egg because I've really been enjoying making eggs in the morning. I don't know what it is, but eggs just kind of like hit better. I don't know. I just am really feeling the breakfast vibes. And also, I used to not eat breakfast, and then I would have a really horrible day at work, and so I'm really committed to eating real breakfast. I actually needed some spices from the spice cabinet, so I have to move you. I'm so sorry. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is so funny. I'm gonna take a picture of it and put it in this video because you're literally all in a mason jar. As I cook my egg. For the last two weeks, um, I was on vacation here locally, like don't worry. And I was working on a lot of podcast things and just like side projects and just taking a break. And so I just didn't have it in me to vlog. I, I didn't. And vlogging is so fun and I probably will do it forever even if no one else watches. But there are some weeks where I don't want my life on camera. And yeah, that was one of those weeks. So I'm getting back into it. I'm really excited. And yeah, I'm also just kind of excited for all the other things that are going to come out like making a lot more videos that are little tutorial ish type of videos on making centers making things for free or low cost and those have been in the works for you know about a month as i've been trying to kind of get ahead and plan them out and get gather the materials and stuff um and i'm really excited about them so i hope it'll become more of like a part of my channel um but we'll see Okay, so I got myself a little bit of, I already opened it, but there it is, Zen, some Zen tea. And again, the sun is shining really bright and mug of the day, the most random mug that we own. I'm pretty sure I've had this since high school, but it's very cute. And yeah, so I'm really excited about school today. Here I am talking about work before work. I try really hard not to. I'm all showered. My hair is pulled back. I'm feeling a lot better. I've said it. I've said it 800 times. I feel best with hoops on. I just do. And I've had to start wearing my small hoops, which I, I just don't feel like myself, but it's okay. I will survive. I actually found a photo of myself from like eighth grade <laughs> and I had these huge pink chunky hoops. So if you guys think that hoops are like a new thing for me, no, I've always been in hoops and yeah, but I need to leave in probably about 35 or 40 minutes because I have a little time to kill. Um, watching Real Housewives. I'm probably going to um, laminate and cut a few things while I watch Real Housewives. Um, not because I need to, but because I kind of find it relaxing. I don't know if other special ed teachers are like me, but like laminating and Velcroing is like very, very relaxing to me. I feel like I need coffee. <laughs> Even though I've drank my tea, I think I'm gonna like get something from Starbucks. I don't know. I'm excited to get to school, have a little bit of time to prep a few things. I'm not picking up my para Austin today, which I miss him because he's great. I'll see him in like 
half an hour. But at the same time, it's kind of nice to get to school a little earlier and be able to like get a couple things done. Um, I also am mid prep for next week. And so maybe I'll be able to show you some of those things that we're doing for next week. I need to put them in the right folders. I just need to print off a few more, um, bind a couple things, put a little Velcro on some stuff, and then we should be ready to go for next week. I'm really angry because the Starbucks app is not working and I didn't pass a drive through Starbucks. So now I'm here at Dunkin' Donuts and it is subpar, sub Oh, I'm so irritated. Anyway, I just need to share that on the vlog because my morning was doing really good and now I'm at Duncan and it's not the same. All right, sorry if there's background noise. Um, the air purifiers are on. Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so I need to print off a few things for next week. I'm also like really excited to make some file folders this weekend. Don't know why, but I am. And so I'm probably going to be focusing on that. Other thing that's super satisfying. Look at this bucket of nicely sharpened pencils. Is there anything better than that? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And some weird pen. But this is like, if you could choose anything in the morning, this is what's bringing me joy right here so i just need to print off some specific like comprehension pages i have a few students who um i can i can be vague i have a few students where the focus truly is on comprehension and i think that um we really like we're really 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 working hard on this try to teach comprehension in a way that's understandable. So I've been kind of adapting uh, regular books, uh, making pieces for books. Um, but it's, I wish there was like a, this is why I'm getting back on my curriculum horse. I wish there was a curriculum that I had that would be able to do that for me, but I'm not there yet. And so I'm just kind of trying to find activities and things that will let me I don't know. I don't even know. So um, one thing that I did find, I hate having to keep purchasing things. I need to start making them myself. I usually do. Um, but I found from Simply Special Ed, who's an awesome human being, by the way, I really like her as a person and she doesn't live too far from me. So that's even better. I love supporting people like that. Um, she made a I think it's like a picture supported comprehension type of thing. So I'm going to buy that, um, I think, and use the digital version with some students and the in-person students will get the physical ones. And I'm pretty sure that's going to help a lot, like a lot to kind of start to, I don't know, start to look at the comprehension stuff. So I'm finishing that. So now it's me um, recording with my voice. So the big thing that we did today was read May Among the Stars, which is about May Jemison, the first African-American woman in space. Um, and it was a really cool story. It's a very simple, simple story, which is awesome. And I found a lot of resources, but not a ton that was like really specific to my students. And so basically we did those little readers, like you can see, I printed out some pictures of her. And then one of the biggest things that we were working on are character traits and understanding the main character. So um, I use Smarty Symbols, but some people have, um, have Board Maker, but I just printed off some of the attributes of her and they actually cut them out and put them on that web. And then we wrote her name in the middle. And so that was a really easy way for them to understand the concept. And then a few students were able to write. Um, these are some file folders. This is from the teacher next to me. She's so kind. She lets me borrow a lot of them. I haven't I have some of these, but I can't find them all. They're definitely in storage. And these are level two, which I think I had only ever made level one. Um, also, if you ever use handwriting without tears, I've had this set for, for so, so, so long. Um, but I've brought it with me through each classroom and it's really helpful to kind of create the letters in a more tactile way and um, it allows them to kind of um, create the letters and it helps them remember it. So I use this a lot. Um, I don't have all the curriculum that goes with it, but this has been really helpful. For next week, we are learning about Amelia Earhart and animal adaptations and still talking about history long ago. So these were some of the books that um, Austin was going to prep for me. 
And then this is also for next week. This goes along with it. This is from Sophie from Where I Ought to Be. She's an awesome person. You should follow her on Instagram. And she makes really cool units. And both of those units were from her. Um, and it comes with some errorless stuff. And the back part is from um, Breezy Special Ed. Some simple supported readings because it's um, Women's History Month. I'm adding this in. Um, I just have been really motivated to get ahead with planning. I'm going to make a whole video on it, but this is some of the curriculum I'm setting up for next year, and there's a lot more to come, so stay tuned for more videos um, about that, definitely. But this is from um, The Autism Helper, and I mostly use uh, social studies and science and math. All right, um, you're catching me now at the end of the day. Um, today was pretty good. I had my afternoon, like, virtual classes but not a lot of students showed up and honestly I'm totally okay with that like I'm not even gonna fight it I waited you know some people showed up for little bits of time but since it's like the end of the day I'm not even gonna like complain about that um I do want to show you a few things so I am setting up a lot of stuff for um next week because I have one staff member that is remote I always try to send her everything that she needs on Fridays um just like the links to all of the virtual lessons she has all of the materials there with her for the next like month's worth of work anyway so she's set with that but just kind of like the pacing she runs virtual morning meetings so it's about to be a new month so I want to make sure that she has the correct like monthly calendar and all that stuff. So um, I have a whole folder, you know, for my school year on Google Drive. Then I have it broken up into different folders such as, you know, the student schedules, snow day, like contingency schedules, because we've been having a lot of those recently. Um, her specific schedule, like as the one remote staff member. Um, and then within her remote uh, folder. She also has all of the academics. And so each there's a folder for each student that is 100% remote and I update it every week. And so that way all she does is when she knows she's going to teach that class, she looks at her folder for that student and sets it up and she's ready to go. So I am really, really excited that this has been working out and, and she's great. So it's really, really helpful. So I'm going to set up the like remote stuff for her um just kind of copy and paste things and make sure she has all of her resources and then um I want to show you that I set up everything for next week a few things that I did make I also want to show you uh so give me like a second and then I don't know I'll show you the rest of the stuff so here's an example I haven't done the math part yet but here's an example of what I would leave for my para. I don't want to show you the name of the student, but this is just kind of like the grid. So she'll go on here whenever it's a reading block. And for a lot of my virtual students, they do the same thing every day. So she'll be able to click on the activity and then it will take her to the boom card deck, the fast play, um, or if it's a Google doc, then she'll be able to do that. So for this student, they're working on the letter B and also working on whether it's a letter or a number. Here's the comprehension that they have. Um, which this is from Simply Special Ed. It's amazing. And they just kind of go through and answer the questions. They probably do two of those each day. They also have this boom card deck where this is from my friend Nicole from Adaptation Station. Each day pick a life skills one. These are awesome because there's stories and then there's comprehension and matching on boom. They're amazing. So this is the whole life skills unit. Um, and then they're doing, we're working on like space because we're talking about Amelia Earhart next week. So this will have the space vocabulary from Made For Me Literacy that comes with it. And then the song that they love, which is the fire truck song. Okay, I'm leaving soon and I showed this already, but these are the file, file folders. Oh my gosh, I can't get that word out. File folders we're going to use. This is an adapted book. There's a video coming about this in two days. <laughs> when this goes up, it will come two days later. So if you can wait that long, how to make um, adapted books books for free then please wait and then here are our typical bins which I've talked about in every video so these are now filled with all that we need for next week the different subjects you can even see there's the math this is just my ratchet dividers this reading group the read alouds that we have um, for social studies and science we are still talking about long ago and then we're also talking about Amelia Earhart so I also printed off a free book about, oh, you can't even see, going on an airplane. Sorry, I realized you couldn't even see it. There's Millie Earhart. And then we're going to start on animal adaptation. So I made these books, well, 
Austin made them, not me. And then um, all the activities that kind of go with it, like the vocabulary. And then what else can I show you? For writing, we're starting women's history. So we have women's history books, but they have students' names on them already, so I can't show you. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we've got going. I showed you on Google that some of my students are doing this virtually, but I actually printed it out and bound it. So some of my students have been answering on actual worksheets in a book. So they've been doing the comprehension the same way. Sometimes they like to circle and then sometimes they like to put the sticker for the answer. Obviously this one they got wrong, <laughs> um, but I'll leave it anyway because that's authentic. And yeah, so like this time they crossed because they were kind of tired of me talking to them. All right, everyone, it's the end of the day. I am really tired. It was a really good day. I feel like I already said that on the vlog. Definitely a good day. We definitely did a lot of stuff. Yeah, today was good. I'm just kind of tired. I think one thing that's annoying is I just got a ticket on my car. Like right as I pulled in and came inside, I got a ticket. Oh, well, so... I want to chat more, but I don't want to make this video so, so, so long for just one day. But one of the things that I'm really trying to work on and study through is curriculum and trying to find the best curriculum for my students. And it's not because I want some special thing. It's just I want one that's going to support them and, and help them. And I feel like every kid deserves to have a curriculum that is right for them. And so we've kind of been like going back and forth, trying to look at different curriculum things. And that's why I keep kind of piecing everything together, making a bunch of stuff, having stuff here ready to go because the amount of work that goes into a special ed teacher finding the right resources for their students is exhausting. And I wanna minimize some of that. And so hopefully throughout the next couple weeks, I'll be making even more videos about free types of things or how to work through a curriculum when you don't have much uh, curriculum given to you, um, stuff like that. But it's just gonna take a while. And I just, I don't know, I just really have been thinking more about it and wanna make sure that I find a curriculum that works for my kids. So I'm just rambling, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I am so grateful for you all. Um, um, I hope that you are all having a really good day and I'm excited for what's ahead and I'm glad I got to take you around with me today. So, so I will let you all go. You just start watching other people's YouTube videos and supporting them. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.